if you're new to fasting or maybe you've tried it before but you're struggling to see results, honestly, I'm not surprised. There is so much mixed information trying to sell you something. Fasting Tube is independent and focusing on real information. Let's get started with today's video. The question, at what time scale should dietary habits be balanced? Kudos to Hans, pretty much have the concept down. Vitamins can be water-soluble or fat-soluble, and water-soluble ones are excreted daily in our urine, while fat-soluble ones can be stored in our body, liver, fat etc. So obviously, you will need daily intake of water-soluble vitamins, ideally, or at least every few days, while fat-soluble vitamins depend a lot more on your current body stores, some vitamins can last you a few months without any intake. If stores was high to begin with of course same idea with minerals macronutrients fats proteins carbs or even nucleic acids can vary there are essential amino acids that you must obtain from the diet but you probably won't see any major adverse effect if you stop eating proteins for a short while same goes with fat except the essential fatty acids two of them both unsaturated fats so yes we don't have a requirement for saturated fat at all despite its tastiness low Carbohydrates on the other hand requires more frequent intake because you don't have a large store of them, unlike fats, your body fat etc., or protein, muscles etc. Carbs are only stored in small amount as glycogen in the liver and muscles that last less than a day. Your brain also has a unique requirement for glucose, so you must maintain a certain blood glucose level to survive, prevent brain death, while most other tissues in your body can utilize fats and proteins as fuel directly. That being said, ultimately, proteins and fats can still be converted, inefficiently, to glucose via gluconeogenesis, and the brain can also utilize as, unideally, ketone bodies as fuel, all these occur when glycogen stores have been used up. So like Han said, it depends on the nutrient. And in practical sense, just try to have a varied diet, go try everything. No reason to limit ourselves to just a few foods. All in all, it is hard to have any major deficiencies these days in any developed countries. And only if there is a major nutritional slash health concern, then you need a specific diet. Like if you want to lose weight, cut calories. If you have high blood pressure, limit sodium, have more potassium. If you have bad cholesterol, eat less saturated fat like butter or red meat.